welcome back to my YouTube channel and it's Christmas still! I am loving uh, Christmas time this year. I've been feeling really festive. I don't know if it's because I've been doing these videos or I'm just being more active at this time of season, but I'm feeling very festive right now. So let's continue with Vlogmas. So today I got my inspiration from the latest YouTube trend of uh, re, um, I don't really know how to describe it, like redecorating Barbie dolls, like they take off all the features of the Barbies and like wipe away makeup, take out their hair and like redecorate them, make them new and it's like the latest trend and I really enjoyed watching these videos, I've really enjoyed them, Sh um, Shane Dawson and Sophia's video of that, so go and watch that, that was really good. Um, and today because it's uh, Christmas time I thought I'd give a festive version of it and once I was going through all our decorations I found this guy. <laughs> my nutcracker when I was a kid, I remember my dad buying this for me because I, oh my mum and dad, um, because I was obsessed with the Barbie movie, um, Barbie and the Nutcracker, I loved that, I loved that movie as a kid and I really wanted my own nutcracker, but as you can see he's gone a bit old, he's a bit outdated, he's, he's missing his feet and part of the beard, so I thought why not give him a makeover, brilliant huh? So anyway, so come and join me. I don't know what I'm doing. I've got various supplies. I've got paint, sandpaper, varnish, and let's see what happens. So the first thing I decided to do was to sand down my nutcracker. Um, I know this would help me later on when I started to paint him because it will be making him less smooth and a bit more rustic, I suppose. <laughs> He's probably thinking, what the hell have I got myself into? <laughs> so I wanted to keep the dark green clothing um, colour because I thought that was really nice and suited him very well. So I wanted to recreate that with my paint. So that's what I am doing now, I'm mixing the paint together. So now I've got the paint mixed, it's time to start painting the Nutcracker. It's very watery paint I brought, so that's not going to help me a lot, as you can probably see now. So I really had to layer up on the paint, so it took me quite a few goes. But don't worry, I'm not showing you all of that. Because the consistency of the paint, I decided to paint all the white bits blue because I knew the colour would stand out really nice and um, vibrant against the white backdrop. I then went over with red paint to fill in all the gaps on the legs of the Nutcracker and I also used Sharpies to redefine his facial features. I then decided to use the orange sharpie against the gold colour scheme because it looked really nice and vibrant and gave him a bit more of a modern day royal look.
I then started to get a bit creative with the blue sharpie against the blue paint and did some nice curly worthy line designs just to give it a bit more of a interesting scheme. I then decided to freelance on his clothing to give him a bit more of a pattern, make it a bit more interesting I thought. Then I had to replace his feet so what I decided to do is get an old black sock of mine, fill it with toilet roll and just double tape it down back onto the stand. Very nice and simple I thought. And for his beard, um, I took a bit of um, fluff off a of feather duster and just double studded that on and gave it a trim. What's it stuck on and just styled it nice and pretty. And there you go, that is the finished product. So this is my finished product of my nutcracker. It's not like top notch and he's definitely not traditional but he's definitely the swankiest, most fashionable nutcracker around I would personally say. So I am very happy with it. I hope you enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe. Okay.